So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. Yeah, I was telling Nate much to see here. Shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. So with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and we're to rent the cheapest format. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? All right, let's get moving. So, you find anything, kid? No. What a rip-off. Coming through. So, Victor, how is it that you know Kings Bay so well, huh? Well, our first time out here was for a swap. Stole them down. <laughs> of course. Deal went bad, and I got arrested. Ended up bribing the police chief. Again, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh, And I made it a point to come visit every few years. Well, maybe we can preempt any trouble we might get into. Can you still reach out to him? Her. Mistake. <laughs> it wasn't like that for once. We just saw the world in similar ways. Besides, she moved. Brazil. It's been a few years since we've seen each other. Maybe time for a visit. Maybe. First, let's wrap this up. First time in years I've had two showers in one day. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Ah, thought this thing was all terrain. You gotta gun it before you hit the hill. Kid, just don't drop us. I just keep, keep it slow, keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus. Careful, careful. Sorry, guys. Oh, 
Onward and upward. Let's not get stuck here. I'm getting nowhere fast. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Slip and slide! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there. At a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor. Who arguing with the rental guy? Ever? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off road. It might rain, might be muddy. I bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. Oh, shit. Hey, take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <laughs> Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sizzle. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No. Doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. <laughs> Got some big plans for this winch. Do it. Whoa, whoa. Uh. Oh, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We clear the hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. 
patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, it's still taking a long time. Hey, Nathan, check out that cave there. All right, one sec. Happy hunting. That was fun. How oh, would you look at that? Shit, stop, stop. I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight to them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. What the?
got you. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. They, they just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Buckle up, everybody! Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? Getting the winch, I was against getting ripped off. No, turn into it. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking a bit call for goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So Rafe's got the advantage there. Shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. But they found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. Don't mind me asking. How'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was just one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books for the library for me. So what'd you read? 
History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he... Uh... Ah, hell. See that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Check I... it out, boys. What is it? <laughs>